first thing, the very first thing you see down there below you, or your very first impression that you have as you come back down to the surface, what do you see down there below you? Mm, dirt or like sand or something? Brown, like brown sand? Should I see under me? And it's kind of like at my grandparents. And look around. Mm -hmm. Look straight forward from the ground. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything on your on your feet? Mm, I have nothing on my feet. Okay, and look up your legs. Are you wearing any apparel? Mm. What are you wearing? Wearing shorts, um, like blue shorts or something. And what kind of shirt? What what's on your top? I don't have a shirt on. No shirt on. Now run your hands in your hair. What does your hair feel like? It's actually I have no hair. It's ball. I, I shaved it my head or something. Very good. And how old do you feel? Um, kind of old. Okay. Now you're looking down at the sand, and I just want you to look forward. What do you see in front of you as you follow the sand out? Is there any water or trees mm -hmm. or anything? No, I see a building or like a house, I guess. Ah, you see a house. And what color is the house? It's like pink, like a salmon color. Okay. And uh, can you walk up to the house? Yeah. And I want you to walk up to the house and just stand right in front of it. Are you there yet? Mm-hmm. Very good. Is there any numbers on the house? Mm, I saw a six and a four. Very good. Now look behind you. Mm -hmm. What's there behind you? Mm, it looks like a, more homes, but they're very far off in the distance. Okay. So like if you look at the ground in front of you, what's out there? At the ground? In front of you. Okay. Um, in front of me, the, I just see the ho houses, but they're far though. Like there's nothing else in front of me. The is, there, so far. is there a road or is there a field? Oh, I, I do see a, ro a road, yeah. A road. Yeah, like I see the houses are, are um, they're like um, aligned on on uh, next to the road yeah yeah oh, very good and uh can you see any street signs or anything like that no no there's no road sign or anything it's like it's almost as if i'm going back to my grandparents this looks like my grandparents neighborhood all right and you have on only blue shorts what are you doing out there just walking around okay now we're going to go to where you absolutely live and we're going to go there in five, four, almost there, three, two, just about there, one, and you're there. Where are you now? At their house. And whose house is their house? My grandparents. And what are you, are you still wearing the blue shorts? Yes. Okay, now I want you to go inside. Okay. How do you get inside? There's a gate in the front. Open mm -hmm. the uh, open the gate. Okay. S slide the gate uh, to. It has the yeah. It slides out. So. Very I, good. I'm going inside. Now that you're inside, what do you see in the first room? I see my grandparents talking. And what is your, uh, how old or how young does your grandparents look? They look about, about the age that they were whenever they kind of passed away. They passed away. And what are they talking about? I don't understand what they're saying. They're just talking to each other. Seeing some, she seems like my grandma is doing something with some fish and she's turned. She's turning back and forth talking to my grandfather about something and he's well, like laughing at her or laughing with her or smiling or something. Can you understand the language they're using? No, I can't hear what they're saying. I don't know what, what they're speaking about. but I can't. Okay, now Ed, listen, relax, mm -hmm. calm down. As you sit there, your ears are starting to pick up the sound and you're listening and you can start to hear their voices and you can hear the conversation. Ah, there it is. What are they talking about? 
you're talking about some some worker or some somebody that works for them, the a fisherman that works for them. Ah, oh, very good. And what is uh, she making? What's she preparing? She is, she is, drying the fish or something like the, the somehow, there she is, uh, taking all the insides out of this fish. She's she's cleaning it. She's gutting it. Yeah, that's what she's gutting it. That's what she's doing. Ah, oh, very good. And are they how? Look at the fish. How big are they? They're about uh, about as big as my hand. Maybe a little bit bigger. Very good. Can she see you yet? Um, if you go up to her and say, Hi, Grandma, hi, Abuelita, she will speak to you, I promise. Go on up to her and say hello. I'm scared. Don't be afraid, I promise you. You're still protected by the pyramid. It doesn't seem scary in the room, does it? No. Everything just seems normal, right? Mm -hmm. It is normal, and she's okay. All right, you said you wanted to talk to her, remember? Mm -hmm. She will speak to you. Just go on ahead. Say hi, Graham, or just say hello and see what she says. Did you say hello? Mm -hmm. Did she look at you? She looked at me and smiled. Oh, very good. Will you go give her a hug? It's okay. It's okay. Give her a hug. Mm -hmm. Is she hugging you back? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Feels good, huh? Mm-hmm. Very good. And what about your granddad? What's he doing? He's smiling. Go ahead and give him a hug. They love you. You know that, right? Does it feel good to get the hugs from them? Yes. Did you tell them that you missed them? Yes. How do you feel? It's okay. Just breathe. Inhale, just breathe. Now you should be happy. It's okay. Let it go. You can release it. You see, they're fine though, right? Yeah, they're doing okay. Very good. It's okay. You can be emotional. It's okay. Talk to her. Ask her how she's doing. It's really good to see her, isn't it? Yeah. She was always there for you, wasn't she? Always. And she's still there for you, isn't she? Yes. Talk to her. What did you want to say to her? <laughs> Ask her how is she doing, she'll tell you. That I love her. I miss her. Very good. And what did she say back to you? She loves me and you know, everything will be all right. Excellent. Very good. Just hold her. Let her hold her. Let her hold you. She has something to tell you. Listen to what she says. Listen to what she says. Just breathe. It's okay. It's totally okay. You said you wanted to see her and there she is. You should be smiling. You should be happy. Are you happy? I am. I'm just... I haven't seen seen her. How long has it been? Um, Almost three years. And you notice she's still doing the same thing, taking care of your granddad. She She looks happy, doesn't she? She does. She looks a lot happier than when I saw her the last time. Ask her, how is it over there? It's good, she says. Beautiful. Now go give your granddad a hug too. Did you do that already? I did. And now how is he doing? He's doing okay. Ask him for any good grandfather advice. He'll tell you. Does he have a message for you? Go ahead and say it because I want you to be able to see this on the tape. What does he say? He says to smile every day. He says you smile every day. Very good. That's wonderful, isn't it? It's okay. It's okay. So good to see them. So good to see them. Just breathe. They don't want to see you all upset. And what was your what did your grandma say? Your granddad wants you to be happy and smile. What did your grandma have to say to you? 
I just had to take care of myself. And what's your name? The same, it's the same name that I have, Ronald. She calls me Ronald in Spanish. Ah, very good. And how old are you? Don't think, just tell me. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how. How do I ask myself that? Where do you, do you live there in that house or you're just visiting? I think I live here. And you you're, feel your head now. Is it still bald? Yeah. Go. Do you have a bedroom there in that house? Yeah. Let's go to the bedroom. They'll be there. They'll be there when you get back. And you're there now in the bedroom. Are you in your bedroom? Mm hmm What does the room look like? Look like? It's a big room, and there's a um, there's like a uh, hammock, I guess, mm -hmm. in there. And um, there's a wall. There's a wall behind that has pictures of animals. Who who gave you those pictures? My aunt. And where's she at? She's outside. Ah, when was the last time you've seen her? It was maybe 15 years ago. Oh man, well let's go outside then. And let's just magically be outside in 5, 4, 3, 2, we are there in front of her. Can you see her? Mm hmm What's she doing? She's cutting some, some type of fruit or something. She's doing something, she's making something to eat. Everybody's working. Can she see you yet? Yeah. And she's she, she smiling at you? She, uh, she's smiling. She says, Ronald, ven para acá. What is Come that? over here. Oh, go give her a hug. Go, go, go. And she hugging you? Mm-hmm. Oh, she's, wow. She's smiling. Beautiful. What is she saying to you? How am I doing? Can you tell her? Mm-hmm. Very good. Is it great to see her? Yeah. Do you miss her? I miss her. Does she still live in El Salvador? She does. So this is a treat to be able to see her, huh? Yeah. And how does she look? She looks like when she was about 20 years old. She looks beautiful, huh? Like the last time you saw her. Yeah. Very, very good. And uh, do you have any pets there? I have a dog. Do you have a dog? Where's the dog at? He's running around back and forth from the inside of the house to the outside. What's his name? What's her name? What's the dog's name? Conejo. Call him. Call her. <laughs> Ven para acá. And did he come? Did He's in front of me with wagging his tail. Oh, it's a he, huh? Yeah. When's the last time you seen him? When I left El Salvador. How many years ago? 19 years ago. Oh my god, give him a scratch behind his ears. Is he happy to see you? He is. Very good. Very good. Anybody or anything else there? Who else is there? Um, my little cousin is there, but he's little. He's not. He's no longer that age though. He's, but it looks like he's a little boy in this. He's like maybe four or five years old. Now he's about well, close to 20 years old. Ah, oh, very good. Now I want you to go back in the house. They're there, they'll be fine. They'll just keep doing what they're doing. The dog will run and she'll keep cutting the fruit. And you see your grandma and granddad, you're really happy to see them. I want you to go back to your bedroom and you're there in your bedroom. Do you have a mirror on the wall or somewhere in your bedroom? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's a mirror. Okay, now I don't want you to be surprised or anything, but I just would like you to go over to the mirror and have a look at yourself. And can you see yourself? No, I don't really see what I, I don't see. Have you found the mirror yet? Hold on. Um. It's okay, it's okay. Is there a mirror in your room, yes or no? There's a mirror in it. The reflection, I look almost like my cousin. It's like I, I look like my cousin who's alive and who's here in the United States now. It, or 
yeah, it almost looks exactly like him, but we don't really look alike you now. So you look like your cousin. Yeah. Ah, that's interesting. Are you sure that's you, or you're, are you looking out of your cousin's eyes? I may be looking out of my cousin's eyes. Very good. I guess that's a good way. And where's your cousin at? Not oh, he's not there, but he lives here. Very good. Let's go back out to your, go to where you're, where they're cooking at, where your grandma's cooking. Okay. Very good. And we're now there with her. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there anything you'd like to ask her? Because I promise you, she'll tell you anything, anything at all, any question you may have. I don't have it. Um, Ask her, does she know where you guys originally come from? Where your family bloodline comes from? She knows. What does she say? She says she doesn't really know. She says she was adopted. Did you know that she was adopted? No. That's interesting. I've never met her parents or anything like that or any, anybody that like she was she said she was adopted she, when she was little she was she lived with someone someone else but it wasn't her family it was she lived with someone else's family I think someone else raised her right right that someone Very else good. raised her and what about Walt that so that is that new information that you never knew before I didn't know that. I thought that she had. I thought she lived with her parents. Oh, very good. But this is good. Now she may not know, but let's go over to your granddad and ask him the same question. Does he know where his family originates from? What does he say? He'll tell you. Remember, you're taping this. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to figure out where he's at. I don't know how to get to him. Where is he? Where, do you, where does he look like he's at? I think he's outside. I'm in my room again. Oh, okay. Well, let's just get to him, and we're going to get to him magically in five, four, three, almost there, two, halfway there, and one. You're there in front of him. Mm -hmm. What's he doing? He is, um... He's, he's handing fish to someone, some guy or something. He's selling some fish to some guy, I think. Oh, okay. So he's let him, talking to him. Let him finish up first. So is this fish that he he uh, fished out himself? Yeah, this is dried up fish. Now it's a lot. It's like bigger because it's like it's folded out now. I guess. It, okay, it's been filleted. Yeah. Very good. And your grandma. Yabolita filleted it, and now he's selling it. Yeah, and it's a, like in stacks or something. Oh, very good. And they just finished their conversation, and the, the person he's talking to is going on their way, and now you go ahead and walk up to him, and he will stop and answer any questions you may have. And go ahead, is he listening, looking at you? Mm -hmm. And can you go ahead and ask him where your family originates? He may know. You can understand him. He's speaking loud and clear. Oh, he has a story to tell. It's a long one. Go ahead and and and. I don't. I don't know what I, I can't really understand what he's saying. Is he speaking in uh, another language? It seems like it seems like whatever he's he's speaking. I don't. I don't. I can't hear him. I can't hear anybody. I can see their lips moving, but I can't hear him. Okay, so I want you to now. Where are you at? It. Where are you at right now? Just tell me. I'm, I'm outside. You're outside. And can you see the porch from where you are? Uh huh. On the porch. Walk over to the porch, and right on the floor, there's like these little tiny earphones that you can put into your ear, like a Walkman. Uh huh. Can you go over and see them? Can you see them? Yeah. They're magical. Now put them in your ears and you'll be able to hear everything loud and clear. And you put them in. 
Are they in your ears now? Yes. Wow, you can hear the wind blow, can't you? Yes. Can you hear the birds and, and the mosquitoes and, and, and the insects and everything now as well? Yes. Very good. Now go over to your granddad and ask him all over. He won't feel strange. He'll answer like it was the first time. Where does your family originate from? What does he say? Chile. Ah, Chile. Very good. And how, how many generations uh, back goes to Chile? Like his grandfather or great-grandfather? He knows. His grand, grand, his his mom, my great grandmother. Okay, is from there. Very good. What else is he saying? He was born in El Salvador. He says she she came when she was seventeen to El Salvador. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Very very good. Excellent. Now, when you say you, you look at yourself or you feel yourself, how old do you think you are? Um, it seems like I'm in my 30s or something. Oh, very interesting. And I don't have any hair. I don't know if I cut that off myself or if, if I don't, if I lost my hair. Okay. So let's move to a time the same time period, but we're going to go back to the pay. Now you're looking down at the sand, and I just want you to look forward. What do you see in front of you as you follow the sand out? Is there any water or trees mm -hmm. or anything? No, I see a building or like a house, I guess. Ah, you see a house. And what color is the house? It's like pink, like a salmon color. Okay. And, uh, can you walk up to the house? Yeah. And I want you to walk up to the house and just stand right in front of it. Are you there yet? Mm-hmm. Very good. Is there any numbers on the house? First thing, the very first thing you see down there below you, or your very first impression that you have as you come back down to the surface, what do you see down there below you? Mm, dirt or like sand or something, brown, like brown sand. Should I see under me? And it's kind of like my grandparents. And look around, mm -hmm. look straight forward from the ground. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything on your on your feet? Mm, I have nothing on my feet. Mm, I saw a six and a four. Very good. Now look behind you. Mm hmm. What's there behind you? Mm, it looks like a, more homes, but they're very far off in the distance. Okay, so like if you look at the ground in front of you, what's out there? At the ground? In front of you. Okay, um, in front of me, the, I just see the ho houses, but they're far though. Like there's nothing else in front of me. The is, there, so far. is there a road? Okay, and look up your legs. Are you wearing any apparel? Mm. What are you wearing? I'm wearing shorts, um, like blue shorts or something. And what kind of shirt? What's, what's on your top? I don't have a shirt on. No shirt on? Now run your hands in your hair. What does your hair feel like? It's... Actually, I have no hair. It's bald. I, I shaved it my head or something. Very good. And how old do you feel? Um, kind of old. Okay. Old, or is there a feel? Oh, I, I do see a road. A road, yeah, a road. Yeah, like I see the houses are are um, they're like um, aligned on on uh, next to the road. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. And uh, can you see any street signs or anything like that? No. No. There's no road sign or anything. It's like, it's almost as if I'm going back to my grandparents. This looks like my grandparents' neighborhood. All right, and you have on only blue shorts. What are you doing out there? Just walking.